What is combustion? Combustion is the reaction that occurs when a substance is heated in the presence of oxygen which produces heat energy and light energy. Let's learn more about combustion. Combustion can only take place when certain conditions are present. What are these conditions? One of the conditions needed for combustion is fuel. Examples of fuel are kerosene, charcoal, butane gas and firewood. We cannot start a fire without fuel. The oil lamp produces heat and light energy through the burning of kerosene, a type of fuel. Besides fuel, what are the other conditions that are needed for combustion? The lady is cooking on a charcoal stove. Charcoal is a type of fuel. The burning charcoal produces heat for cooking. Why is there an opening at the side of the stove? The opening at the side of the stove helps to take in more air for combustion. We have learned that air is needed for combustion. The lighter candle stops burning a few seconds after the gas jar is placed over it. Which gas in the air is used during combustion? The answer is oxygen. When all the oxygen inside the air is used during combustion, the candle extinguished. You have learned that fuel and oxygen are needed for combustion. What else is needed for combustion? Besides wood and oxygen, what else do you need to start a fire? Besides wood and oxygen, heat is also required to start a fire. Heat produced by friction is used to start a fire in this case. Look at the gas stove in your kitchen. To start a fire, you need oxygen, heat and fuel. So all together, there are three conditions needed for combustion. How to put out a fire? The principle of firefighting is to remove one or more of the three conditions required for combustion to occur. One of the ways is to cut the supply of oxygen. Sand and a fire blanket can be used to extinguish the fire. They block off the supply of oxygen. Without oxygen, combustion stops. Another way is the removal of fuels or combustible materials. For example, relocating unburned trees in the vicinity of the fire and turning off the gas supply. A third way is the removal of heat by lowering the temperature. For example, cooling the burning fuel using water and using aircraft to fight wildfires. There are several types of portable fire extinguishers that contain different fire extinguishing materials based on different sources of fire. The material on fire is a type of solid, for example, wood, cloth or paper. The type of fire extinguishers that can be used are water and dry powder. If the material on fire is a type of liquid, for example, oil, varnish or paint, the type of fire extinguishers that can be used are foam, dry powder and carbon dioxide. Water cannot be used to extinguish fire caused by liquid. This is because water is denser than oil and it will sink below the oil. The fire will not be extinguished. If the material on fire is gas, examples, 
like propane, acetylene, and methane gas. Then the type of fire extinguishers that can be used are foam, dry powder, and carbon dioxide. If the material on fire is a type of matter, for example, potassium, sodium, magnesium, or calcium, the type of fire extinguishers that can be used are dry powder and dry sand. Next, let's look at some safety measures to prevent the occurrence of fire. Keep the matches and lighters in a safe place. Do not throw away cigarette butts when they are still burning. Install fire alarm and smoke detector at home. Do not plug in too many electrical appliances to a single electrical source. Always be aware of your electrical appliances and keep away flammable substances from fire. It is important for us to practice fire safety measures to prevent the risk of fire which can lead to the destruction of life and properties. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.